Yo, what's good? Welcome back to another video. Check this out. I know we ain't been posting in a while, bro, but there's a reason why. And I'm about to show you that in a minute, you know what I'm saying? Look, the homie out here is going to be putting some work in on the G35, bro. We got a gang of parts. We got a lot, most of the parts we need to get this swap done. Now I'm about to walk out there real quick, man. Excuse the wind. It is windy outside. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So excuse the wind. Yo. Yo. What's good, man? Tell the people what we got going today. <clears throat> well, today might be the day that we can uh, get the new motor in, new transmission. Well, we got a new motor and transmission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to show you guys it uh, when we pull it outside. Yeah. yeah. So we can get a good view because. It might be a LS, might be a 2 -dray. Might be a K8. Never hey, know. No, ain't no K8. What you mean? I don't, I don't get, get this. I get a little disrespectful now. <laughs> when my K8 smoke this shit. You gonna be like, bro? I'm gonna go get a K8. I'm gonna go get a K8, bro. But yeah, uh, I'll show you guys the motor when we when we have it outside. Making little notches. All right, y'all, man. We got the motherfucking motor out. Oh, I didn't reveal the motor, man. Well, but look, y'all seen it. This is another DE from Dallas JDM Motors, man. You know what I'm saying? This motor is real fucking clean, bro. Like, this camera's not doing it justice. Look how clean them bolts look. Look at this. Clean. Crispy. And we got a manual transmission, bro. We are manual swapping this bitch too. This is a CD001, which is an eight. Uh, got it for a nifty deal at Dallas JDM Motors. Right now we're, uh, I don't know, I forgot to pick up a uh, rear main seal because it's kind of wet down there. And I would hate to put all this shit on, like the clutch and stuff and the trans and the shit start to leak, so. Darren thinks it's OEM, that's silicone, but I don't think so. Yeah, I do. Somebody at Nissan today asked what this is OEM. But yeah, I don't know. We do need to remain still though. But uh, we got the One-piece drop shaft right here, waiting to get put on. And yeah, so we're just gonna work on the motor and shit real quick. Get that clutch on, and uh, bolt the transmission up, and we should be ready to put this motor in. All right, babe, little update video, man. So, um, this engine, it had an automatic transmission bolt onto it. So uh, as you can see, I tried to do the bread method to where you pack the bread in there and try to hammer it so it can push it out. But unfortunately, it didn't work. I guess it only works on uh, manual manual ones with the pilot bushing like this. This is a lot smaller. The automatic ones is big, man. It's way bigger. It's pretty much this whole little ring thing right here. You know what I'm saying? You kind of see it go in. That's the whole thing. So the torque converter can go into that. Um, I have to run to the auto zone and get a a slide hammer but we got a new rear main seal this shit is crispy you know what i'm saying shit look like it got diamonds on it no cap so that'll go on like that um this is an old one I'll show y'all that real quick this is an old one and you can kind of see where oh, let me get out this one y'all you can kind of see well you can't really see but when it was on the motor it was a little wet right here on the bottom i don't know if you can really see that but um, I went ahead and told him, man, you might as well replace that while we have the motor out and the transmission out. Because I would hate to bolt in the clutch and bolt everything up, start the car, and it's leaking. So, yeah. So right here, we got our master cylinder right here. You know what I'm saying? All we need is a reservoir, which we can get um, from Summit Racing or whatever. Um, yeah, almost there. King's a wine room, bro. This nigga eating bread. 
But yeah, let me run the autos on it real quick to get the slide hammer. All right. All right, guys, this is the next day. And we're still fighting with this automatic ass pilot bearing. We tried to use the bread method, but it didn't work. Nope. So now we're gonna try to pack it with grease. Let's we went to AutoZone, they gave us a whole ass pilot bearing pu uh, puller, and that shit did not work. So we're gonna go back to the old school way. Was now, built um, like a C clamp. yeah, doing this, you just gotta be committed. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta keep packing it with grease and just uh, get something that can fit that hole. Uh, what's that? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Something that's the same diameter as this. That can fit the hole. And you gotta hammer this motherfucker. So, as you can see, bro, packing that shit with grease. And we finna go to work. Now, how am I intended at all? Yo, so that grease shit did not work. I'm gonna be real with y'all, that shit did not work. Nissan. The camera in my face, bro? Nissan, what the fuck? Why do we have to take off the upper uh, oil pan just to put on the rear main lower. seal? We gotta take off pretty much the lower and the upper just to take, to take, to put on the rear main seal. Why the fuck did, did y'all design it that way, bro? Why couldn't you just make the shit easy, bro? Make the shit simple. What the fuck is this? How, how, how in the fuck when y'all was designing this motor, who, I want to talk to whoever made it to where you have to take off the, uh, the oil pan just to slide the fucking thing on. Why couldn't you just make it to where you slide the shit on? This is for anybody that need, that's doing a rear main seal. You have to take this off, bro, because it is damn near impossible for you to slide it on without damaging the seal. So that's what we're doing right now. Jerry. Just wanted to say that.